Hey everybody, so we're here at Best Practice 2024 in Birmingham and we're wrapping up the conference. You may even hear or see people taking things away. Um, I guess me and Andy wanted to catch up on the conference and also find out how Tara's found it because you've been really busy, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. Want to tell us what you've been up to? So on day one, I chaired the Transformation Theatre and it was excellent. It was wasn't as busy, I think, compared to last year, but the speakers were brilliant and just the overall vibe, I think the overall feel and vibe of Best Practice is always really positive, really upbeat. And Tara, on the PCN stage, were there any sort of themes emerging in terms of the, the questions or the presentations? Um, I think it was towards the end of the day, but the work we talked about the future of pharmacy and in collaboration with primary care networks, and I thought that was excellent. I came away, like I've created an infographic, I came away with so much information. I thought that was excellent. I think the theatre's has covered, I think both days, social prescribing, everybody's slightly different approaches. Mm -hmm. um, Gandhi and I and Dr. Shani Patel did a session on the RSGP. That was, session was busy, so that was really good. So I wouldn't say overall themes, but I do think the non-clinical roles, we did get a good, got good coverage this year. And I guess, what have you found the most impactful thing outside of the actual stages themselves? So, you know, what about meeting other people, other kind of sessions and stuff? Yeah, it's always the people. And I think because, personally, I look like I live a lot online, so it's lovely to actually meet people. And where at THC with our members club, and lots of the members were here today, so that, that was brilliant. That's really nice to get that feedback. So, yeah. Andy, what about you? How's the conference been for you? Yeah, so I've had a really good time, great time. I've spent most of my time walking the floor, actually, talking to some of the digital health providers and providers of other services and doing some VTs. I think we've got um, a uh, playlist of some of those that, yeah. that we've been doing, so people can check that out. Um, I think for the highlights, um, I, went, I, I must say I watched a presentation by Hussein Morji, who is uh, a local colleague, about the primary secondary care interface. That was, And it was actually genuinely a really interesting um, talk and it was good that's the space I'm involved in and it was good to see what other areas are doing as well because they pulled some speakers from other areas so that was really good um, I came to the conference with a particular question I always think it's good to come with what, what we're trying to solve and for me that was uh, looking at what we can do at place level around cardiovascular disease outcomes so um, I spoke to Aid Health who do some uh, disease monitoring um, a disease monitoring platform that was really interesting and spoke to somebody about group consultation Mm -hmm. so, uh, so those are my highlights really uh, but Gandhi what were your highlights and um, so great conference had an amazing opportunity to meet and see loads of people that I don't get a chance to see normally otherwise which is definitely a big thing for me chairing the PCN stage day two hard act to follow following Tara and I'm pretty sure I've not run anywhere near as close to time as she had um, and but got loads of opportunities to meet people as well on top of that I think the big thing for me at this conference has been conversational AI um, it's definitely been you know leading the pack in the interest if you go by any of the providers their, their stands have been you know pretty fully fledged and stuff so I think you know there's a slight shift away from I think online consultation platforms being the I think the key leaders for a lot of stuff and um, there is that shift towards how is AI being used and obviously conversational AI is the big test case bit of a wild west still in terms of governance so really interesting to see how that plays out in the next few weeks and months in terms of what that looks like but really good conference really enjoyed myself had a great time I'm looking forward to next year actually so we will see and you know we may even have something special coming planned for you for next year as well speaking of special I know I've been teasing Tara about this all day so I've got a little present for her which I've been working on for a while she will open it later but at least you get to see that she's got something and oh, this is your game yeah it's, it's, it's very small we almost need the uh, yeah, the, zoom, the zoom lens for so this I might one. put the image on afterwards and stuff but just to let you know this is exclusive you know very few people in the world have this and Tara's got a <laughs> copy so there you go and, and it's a board game Amazing. and it's a board game in a very small package yeah, uh, yeah that's I, I, really I, cool yeah I played this Tara on the train back from uh, RCGP in Liverpool and it is fantastic yeah, yeah it plays Tara's really really well so uh, so people need to get their hands on this uh, so, somehow maybe it needs to go on sale we somewhere who knows we will uh, do you want to wrap up Gandhi so as ever we're always here to try and help enhance everything that you guys know about general practice both from EGP learning and from the business of healthcare we will absolutely be back next year and hopefully you get to come join us as well. So catch you in the next one. Bye, everyone. Bye.